Welcome to the Fingal 10K, first event in this year's SSE Artistry Race Series. This year the 10K will start outside the 44 Hotel on Main Street and Swords, heading in the direction of the city. With a slight uphill in the first kilometre. As we approach the roundabout we will keep the runners on the left hand side unlike last year where they had to take a full circle of the roundabout this year we're taking the immediately left onto the old Belfast road the R132 our first kilometre will be at the bus stop on the left hand side at the start of the bus lane we have now passed the one kilometre mark on the left hand side of the bus stop we would ask all runners to make their way into the bus lane on the left hand side having passed the pavilion shopping centre on our left hand side we are approaching the Malahide roundabout we will be taking the second exit of the Malahide roundabout heading further north in the direction of Emos As we pass under the footbridge at the 2k mark, we are now still heading on the Swords Bypass in a northerly direction. We will approach the next roundabout where we will again take the second exit at the roundabout. Still staying further north on the Swords Bypass. As we pass the 3 km mark just before the last roundabout on the Swords Bypass, uh, we would ask owners to again take the second exit from the roundabout. This is the Fingalians roundabout, or also known as the Estuary roundabout. As we approach the 4 km mark, we'll be taking a sharp turn left down Ennis Lane with the Emos Institute on our left hand side. Uh, your first water station will be almost immediately as you turn onto Ennis Lane. One of the great appeals of the Fingal 10K is that we're in country roads in a lovely rural setting with lush surroundings. Many people comment on the they didn't realise that Dublin had such beautiful scenery in its close environs to the city. Just before the end of the lane we will be turning right, we have just passed the 5k mark which is just prior to the end of the lane. The stewards will put you in the right direction of Balheri Road. Up past the golf centre. Once again we have taken a left hand turn onto Windmill Road. Windmill Road is a slight downhill. If runners look to their left hand side, they will actually see the village of Swords. As we approach Balheri Church, we have just passed the 6k mark. We will be turning left at Balheri Church and heading back in the direction of Swords Village. Just before we get to Swords Celtic Soccer Club on our right hand side, we will have just passed the 7km mark. Coming to the end and turning right on to Balheri Road again, where we will have our next street station. After we pass the water station, we will have the 8km mark. As we approach the set of traffic lights at the junction with Glen Ellen, we are travelling straight through in the direction of the finish. We have St. Finian's GA Club on our right hand side. We are now coming to the junction with the fire station which will be on our right hand side and turning immediately left. Uh, we're only turning left for 100 metres and turning right onto North Street. Turning into North Street we stay on the right hand side of the road. 
we will be on North Street for about 200 metres where we will turn right again at the Estuary Pub. Approaching the Estuary Pub we are taking a right hand turn. Here we should be passing the 9 kilometre mark in the finishing straight now with a slight uphill We turn left onto Watery Lane. We will have Swords Labs on our left hand side. Watery Lane is a slight uphill for about 600 metres until its junction with Ratfield Road. When we get to Ratfield Road we'll be turning left. We're now about 400 metres from the finish line which is about 300 metres downhill. When you get around the corner you will actually see the finish line. And the last 100 metres is a slight uphill again. Finish line is outside Swords Castle at the junction with Main Street.